Drew back my arm and came down on him with all 230 pounds. I didn't know how fast blood could come out of someone's head. Did I mention that I was an atheist? My dad had brain damage. I was taken to a mental hospital and later to jail. There are people who are going to be amoral. There are people who don't care about morality. That doesn't change how the rest of us in society would view their moral obligation, nor does it change what obligation they may have in their own mind if they actually care about living. There's nothing you can ever do or say to someone who doesn't care about living or caring about a better life that's gonna convince them that they are obligated to do so. God doesn't solve this problem. Pointing to a God doesn't solve this problem because if I say, hey, here's, if you and I agree that we're alive, do you care about a better world? Would it have been better for you to not grab a ball peen hammer and take it to somebody's head? In hindsight, even without appealing to a God, would you, wouldn't your life have been better? Wouldn't that person's life have been better? Wouldn't the fact that we share this life have been better without that. You can go down some path of, no, I learned a lesson, or ultimately it sent me to jail, and that's where Jesus fixed me and gave me this, this new view on life. At the end of the day, you don't have a choice whether you're playing the game of life, you're playing it. And so when you, when you point to something like, oh, well, the Nazis did this, um, okay, I, 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 I suppose I could start by talking about how absolutely asinine it is especially when Nazis marched around with Gottman Unz on their belt buckles and they believed in God and they believed that God was with them and they believed that God wanted them to do the things that they were doing. And they believed it for a number of reasons, not the least of which is that if you take a look at something like the supposed instructions from one God to run around and kill the Midianites but keep the young virgin girls for themselves or that shalt not suffer a witch to live or kill the homosexuals or the disparity between religions that cause conflict so that God is always on the side of people doing that, you can justify any and every atrocity by appealing to whatever God you want and opposing whatever God you don't want. The God proposition solves nothing. And what are my atheist friends going to do with your 80 years or so? A social worker was talking about having me sent to my third mental hospital and when I wasn't reading all I could think about was taking people out to the woods and peeling their skin off.